We are back with the Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast. I am the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man too sweet to be sour, your king of extreme, Phil KOE. And I am joined here for our Fast Lane Predictions with my indomitable broadcast partner, Tony G. How we doing, everybody? Here we go. This is a bit of a different uh, change in format for us. We're going to try putting some material out, you know, before the pay-per-view. Yeah, you know, hey, hey, we're, we're moving up. But here we are with our uh, predictions for all of you. Uh, let us know in the comments uh, what you think. We're going to start off with a match with a lot of build here. Like, yep. a lot, like, you know, like this one's been... You know, metastasizing since at least Survivor Series. Yeah. Naomi and Becky Lynch versus Natalia and Carmella. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you shocked by that being on the card, I'm not going to fault you because that was probably your bathroom break during the go-home SmackDown. Uh, really, the lead into that was uh, Becky beat Carmella, and then they went backstage, and Natalia and Naomi had a altercation for about a minute mm. and the challenge was thrown down so last minute booking and you can see very clearly that it is just time filler because yeah. your main event is absolutely stacked with people so basically they're just throwing this match in as filler and okay. it's very clear last minute match nakamura versus rusev day who they've been keeping off of tv to purposely try to cool rusev day basically yeah the build for this was nakamura injured uh aiden english by hurting his throat so this go home episode of smackdown rusev and nakamura agreed to a match at fastlane there's your other last minute booking other than that Okay, so who do you have for Naomi oh, Becky Lynch? Get, yeah. God, I almost let, forgot. we got to give our predictions for the last-minute book. Sorry, yeah, I, I, I almost forgot about the match, which is hard to believe since I've been looking forward to it. So, my, you know, honestly, you could flip a coin. It doesn't matter. A lot of people expect uh, Carmella to win because she has money in the bank. A lot of people expect her to lose because she has the money in the bank. It doesn't matter. It's a throwaway time filler match. I'm going to go ahead and just say the heels win. I think Carmella's been off TV enough, and people have basically forgotten that she has the briefcase, that it doesn't matter if she wins or loses. I'm going to say, as the opener, the heels win. Yeah, Natalia and Carmella win. I'm saying because Naomi has a lot of uh, future prospect, and she's going to be a moneymaker for them in the future, I think they're going to give it to Naomi Becky Lynch. That's... I'm just basing on that. So there we go. We got That's a, sad considering that we've got, last year Naomi won a title at WrestleMania and Becky was featured heavily what the year before or with you know with the Charlotte and Sasha and now you've got this match and it's just sad. Yeah, and unfortunately <laughs> I don't know if any of them are going to make it to Mania because the women's division Mania card is already pretty packed. I think what you're going to end up having is a lot like every Mania you cram 5 to 10 women. Have them tag match yeah, of yeah. some kind. Yeah, basically whatever. a Survivor Series type match yeah. in the pre-show. Okay, now Rusev versus Nakamura. I'm sure this is going to come as a pretty big shock, and I want you to brace yourself. No, I'm not kidding. Brace yourself. I'm hanging on to my okay. chair as we speak, Tom. All right. Nakamura wins. What? <laughs> I know. N no. I know. I figured I know. Rusev was going to come in with a Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series type victory. Maybe 90 seconds. Right. Uh, but... You know, you've convinced me. I'm going to go with Nakamura on that okay. one. So, Wait, who did you go with on this one? Uh, Naomi Becky. Lynch. Okay, that's right. So, so, so we, so do, we got, we're not going to be down the middle. This is perfect. So, okay, but we both have Nakamura, <laughs> obviously, because he's probably going to win at WrestleMania. I kind of expected maybe, you to pick Nakamura. Maybe. Okay, U.S. title. <laughs> Glorious! Versus. Yeah, Randy Orton, Randy Orton with hair. Yes, which is actually a little bit more glorious. It is. I, I enjoy Randy Orton with hair a lot more. I don't know why. So, uh, Bobby Roode versus Orton. Basically, the build for this has been, uh, you know, Roode won the title and Orton doesn't have anything to do. Then you throw in Jinder Mahal on the side because everybody realized what a mistake that championship run was. So now he's in the title picture of what he should have been from the get-go. 
Even though he's not in this match, I figure Jinder's going to get involved somewhere. Honestly, this is... I, I have went back and forth on this. I don't, honest to God, know who to pick. I feel like you could pick Orton here and have them rematch with Jinder at Mania. I think that's going to be the Mania match anyway. Jinder, Orton, Rude. I think mm. Rude could retain here, and then Orton or Jinder could win at Mania. I, I'm just going to go with Rude, because I just don't see Fastlane as a big enough show or important enough to even justify any title changes. Uh, so yeah, Bobby Roode retains. I think uh, to set up for a bigger WrestleMania match, they put the United States title on Orton. They've got a lot of different avenues they could go with that, um, especially if uh, John Cena's whole I'm looking for a WrestleMania match thing doesn't pan out. I think they put Orton versus Cena U.S. title. It's They've worked together. They know what they're doing. And if you even wanted to, you could sell it as Orton versus Cena one last time. You know, and, you know that'll get some folks watching. Yeah. And that's just assuming some of John Cena's other mania plans don't work out, which ugh, I, I shudder to think what they could be otherwise. But that is... Best case scenario, WrestleMania plans for John Cena's Orton Cena United you know, States title. I so like, I put it on Orton. I like that idea, but I'm still just not sold on the idea that we have a Orton Cena match at Mania with roughly three, four weeks of build. I think a feud like that deserves two months mm, minimum. And I think they, they should do that match at They 35. don't do that no more in WWE. They've got 16 pay-per-views well, to promote between that is changing. WrestleMania that's and changing. Royal Rumble. So this is, That's why we need to be excited about this Fastlane 2018 card because it will be the quote-unquote last brand exclusive oh, so pay-per-view. this will be the last? Yep. Okay. This is the last SmackDown only pay-per-view because after Mania Backlash will be a dual brand pay-per-view. Are they all going back to dual? I believe they are. Okay, well, hey, that'll actually be better in my opinion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, makes it a lot easier. Okay, uh, tag team championships, the Usos as the champs versus It's a New Day! Yes, it is! The build for got? this was really simple. It was also a, what, two-week build. As most of these matches were, if you can believe it. Well, <laughs> that's not really fair to say with Usos and New Day. No, they've that's been, the exception. They've been here. feuding yeah. for basically since the New Day came to SmackDown. Yeah, essentially. It's just been them in a continuous feud. And that's why I'm glad they did this for Fast. I would, honestly, I'd rather see them have a tag team ladder match championship at Mania. I think that would be the perfect blow off to, what, an eight month build up feud they had had some great matches that would be another one but they're doing this match. match at mania that would be great they're doing this match basically as filler because i think that their real plan is to somehow figure the blood and bludgeon brothers in after this but you've got honestly this is 50 50 i i really think that they should keep the titles on usos so i'm going to go with usos i think the uh having the wrestlemania reaction clap for your champions! With an, it's a new day! Yes, it is! That whole reaction at WrestleMania is a big enough reason to put the belts on the new day and then have them drop them to the Usos of Mania again. Like, like I said, the, these guys just put them in a gimmick match of some time type against each other and they can make new magic every time. Like when these guys wrestled at Hell in a Cell, that was one of the best Hell in a Cell matches. I yeah. like other than obvious the the obvious top contenders. Sure. That was one of the best Hell in a Cell matches I've ever seen. Um so yeah. I I went back and forth. I'm I'm not honestly I'm not sold on any of my picks other than Nakamura. Like that's the only one so far I'm really solid on. Like I could I could easily see them giving the titles to New Day and I'd be fine with it. Either way, honestly. So, are you sticking with Usos? I'm sticking with Usos. I just don't really see any title changes happening, to be completely honest. All right. I'm sticking with my New Day. So. Okay. So, All we've right. actually got a pretty uh, divided up well, that's good. selection All right. process. Women's here. Championship. Now, we've got <laughs> uh, Charlotte versus Ruby Riot heading into Mania, what, Tony. It's not Paige? I mean, Oh, I thought it was Paige. Sorry. Well, it was Paige Light. It was supposed to be Paige. Like, I'm sorry, Ruby. You're a great worker, but 
they literally brought you in the same week that they debuted another three woman faction. Yeah. That was when I was watching SmackDown on the debut for a second. I thought, oh wait, Absolution. Oh wait, I thought they were on Raw. Wait, what's going on here? I was just very confused for about eight nine seconds. As uh, um, most people were. <laughs> and so Ruby, um, I think she's going to put on a way better match than anybody thought she would be capable of because everyone seems to think she's some sort of rookie when she's actually been around the scene for a while and she knows (laughs) what she's doing. So she's going to put on a much better match. I think this is going to be a chance for her to try to shine. They tried to build this properly and I will give them credit. The problem is it just didn't take. It started out with Charlotte beating uh, Liv Morgan and uh, the, wow, wow. I cannot think of the other group. Sarah Logan. There we go. She beat those two, and then she was all revved up to beat Ruby Wright, and then Ruby Wright knocked off Naomi and knocked off Becky. So both Charlotte and Ruby have beaten the other's friends. That's how they built this up. It was a decent build, but it just got nobody invested into it. And you can see the writing on the wall. Does anybody actually think charlotte is going to drop the title to ruby riot a month before wrestlemania well nobody I thought don't. she was gonna charlotte. drop the belt to bailey a month before wrestlemania well either, that's fair so, you know i, I mean, think bailey had a hell of a lot more uh heat behind momentum her. Oh, yeah. yeah i'll give you that uh ruby still needs to uh i don't know what the word is but she's just not quite at that um, championship, echelon. yeah, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. She's not quite there yet, but no, she's not. In a year or two, she could break through. Um, well, she's with, got a with different page going down. Uh, she's got a different, unique open. look, and so eventually that's gonna catch one way or the other, either as a face or as a heel. I think Ruby's gonna catch. I don't know when, don't know why, don't know what her angle is gonna be, but I think Ruby's gonna catch at some point. It's just not gonna be a fast lane here. Um, no. I think uh, she's gonna put on a hell of a match with Charlotte. But that's... Um, good enough I'm, to win? I'm leaving it with Charlotte. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good. <laughs> good call. Okay, now. The, uh, the 30-man Royal... Oh, sorry. No, it's not. It's the world title match. The that six has pack challenge. Six. I predict Roman Reigns will win. Well, oh wait, should. wait, wait, wait! You wrong, should. wrong show. Well, that so. doesn't rule him out exactly. Exactly. You got a point. Uh, yeah. He could win the, the WWE title, too. Cause, no, all right. I'm going to let you take this first, Tony. Well, the build on this has been pretty pretty much the focus point of SmackDown for the last, what, two months. Uh, really, it started with the AJ Styles defending against Zayn and Owens in their last pay-per-view match at the Royal Rumble. Styles retained. Then we were going to do a triple threat with Styles, Zayn, and Owens. And then Owens and Zayn lost to Corbin and Ziggler, who in turn got added to the match. And then, of course, just for funsies, John Cena got tossed in because why not not have him in two big pay-per-view matches back-to-back on different shows? Uh, The reason I believe Cena got added to this match is because he still does not have a set Mania match. It's not going to be here. I can tell you now, Cena is not going to win this match and win the title for a record time at Fastlane 2018. I do not see that at all. It's not going to be Baron Corbin. Although Corbin has been getting better in most aspects, he's still he's still coming along. It's not going to be Corbin. He's just there. He's a body. As is Dolph Ziggler, who's <laughs> unfortunately career body and he's so yeah. good but my god he's just a body he's unfortunately by the office been put into the position of a good little worker yeah pretty and much. when you're a good little worker it is really hard to get out of that mindset with the office oh he's a good yeah. little worker he ain't gonna draw any money but he's the guy that'll help the people who draw the money yeah that's how they see him the and real story is zane and owens and aj styles as it ha- as it was at royal rumble the problem here is you've got a very cloudy picture. What they did on the go-home was Sami Zayn, after telling Kevin Owens that he would lay down for him at fast lane so Kevin Owens could win the title, kicked Kevin Owens in the head and won the five-way match. So, you could take that two ways. You could take that as either, okay, now we have a full-on six-pack challenge, every man for himself, or it could be another double turn where Sami Zayn does, in fact, lay down for Kevin Owens, or at least attempts to do so. I, I think they're going to continue building Zayn versus Owens at WrestleMania, as they should. 
I don't know how they will do it. I'm sure they've put a lot of thought into it. They've done a lot of good stuff. And that is a match that deserves to happen. So neither one of them are going to win the title here. Your winner, retain AJ Styles. In a just world, AJ Styles would absolutely retain the title, go on to WrestleMania, (laughs) and defend in one of the greatest matches in WrestleMania history against Nakamura. In a just, sane, righteous world, Tony. Well, they want to recapture the Wrestle Kingdom 10 match. Yes, yes. But you know what would have made that Wrestle... In Vince McMahon's mind. (laughs) Do you know what would have made that Wrestle Kingdom match even better, T? Just a little bit of John Cena. If we were to just inject a little bit of WWE sports entertainment into a wrestling classic... That'll make it even better. So that is why, as much as it pains me to say, my prediction is John Cena <laughs> is going to win the Elimination Chamber. The I mean, that I'm sorry, the, not the Elimination Chamber. Well, the, uh, six pack you challenge. can easily be forgiven because... <laughs> we just did that pay-per-view <laughs> four days ago. And John so, Cena was in it. Yes, he was. So, so my prediction is John Cena. And now... Tony has a prediction that we can, that I can kind of double or nothing on that one. So well, we don't let really need much of a tiebreaker. We've both got Nakamura. You've got the face girls. I've got the heel girls. I've got Rude. You've got Orton. I've got Usos. You've got New Day. We both have Charlotte. I have Styles. You have Cena. So there's a very good chance we're not tying here. However, the reason I think that you're wrong about the main event and the reason that John Cena will not win the WWE title. Oh, I, this is it. I hope I'm right about the United States title. That'd be way better than the world title. Oh my God, that'd yeah. be a better story. But it could be. But the reason you're wrong about John Cena winning is because this is it. Please let me my date. third straight pay-per-view prediction. And I will not make it again after this, I swear. This is it. <laughs> my final time doing so. John Cena does not win the match for the WWE title because The Undertaker accepts the challenge that John Cena laid down at Monday Night Raw and somehow comes out, whether it's in the middle of the match, the end of the match, before, I don't care. The Undertaker's showing up and we're going to solidify the John Cena-Undertaker match at Mania. And I I will be frank, I could also see them holding off until the next night on Raw to set it up, but... I really hope I get it you right this see time. see John Cena versus the <laughs> Iron Sheik at WrestleMania before you see the... The Undertaker just had double hip replacement, okay? I don't He had one that. replaced earlier. He's got the other one replaced. He's done. He needs to start a reality show about building motorcycles or something like that. We'd all watch well, it. Well, you know who else has a lot of experience with reality shows, Phil? John Cena. Yeah, that's true. So, oh man, that's how they ultimately finish That's your up segue, yeah. In the reality show world. <laughs> and then also, you got one other uh, thing yeah. here you wanted to address, T, which I think would be the right way to go, but in the end, I don't think it's going to go that way. I have, after Charlotte successfully defends against Ruby Riot, we have Asuka come out and makes it clear that she is challenging Charlotte for her title at WrestleMania. The reasoning behind this is because they've kind of strewn away from the Alexa Bliss versus Asuka thing. Now, it, it started to build, but it, it seems like they're building more towards Alexa versus Nia at Mania, which would be a pretty good consolation prize for Nia Jax, considering she was left out of the Women's Elimination Chamber match, and she's had to lose to Asuka like twice straight now. Yeah. So yeah. this would be a good way to build the Alexa versus Nia match at Mania. It would be a good way to rehabilitate Nia somewhat, yes. and it would also be a good way to keep Asuka strong, because she's already basically tapped out the entire yeah. Raw Women's Division. Am I wrong? No, in- including uh, Nia Jax now. Yeah, like, she's tapped them all out, so it gives her some fresh matches, and she can run with that belt for two years if she likes, yeah. and they can also eventually put the Raw belt on Ronda. And so then you eventually build that unstoppable force, immovable object of Ronda Rousey versus Asuka that they've been teasing from the second they brought Ronda in, but they're going to hold back and savor that one. So I'm guessing 
Ronda's probably going to ultimately be the one to end Asuka's streak. You know, but that's getting way far out. Yeah. The, the other reason I like this Asuka challenging Charlotte is because the women's picture in SmackDown land has been pretty bland. And that's with Charlotte Flair as champion. If you look at Charlotte Flair as champion on Raw and SmackDown, it's two completely different animals. For one, you have smiley face Flair on SmackDown as champion. And it doesn't work. And the writing is no. just not up to She's far She's too right good now. of a heel to play face. I'm yeah. sorry. I mean, it's like Ric Flair as a face works when he's a retired and he's an authority figure. Yeah. It doesn't work in the ring. Like no. Even when he was a baby face wrestler when he wrestled Eric Bischoff in Starcade 98. <laughs> a match I liked, by the way. Gross. He was still dirty, fighting dirty, but it was because he had emotional investment in the match. Yeah. And so that's, like to me, Charlotte, I think, is kind of the same way, not yeah. just because of who her dad is, but just because the way she works. Yeah. She's way better as a heel, and you just need to let her, rather than jump her from heel to face every week, you need to just let her dig her teeth in mm -hmm. to being a good heel and really getting to the next level. And I think against Asuka, she will easily yeah. slowly turn back into a heel. And they've got a month to build it. If you want to get viewership up for SmackDown, make Asuka come on the show and challenge Charlotte Flair. That's going to drive your ratings. That's going to drive up interest in the product. And I think that would be a fantastic way of doing mm -hmm. it. Another way to make SmackDown a little more interesting would be if they knew John Cena was going to face The Undertaker. But I digress. Well, I digress. Well, isn't Undertaker a raw guy anywho? So, I mean, like... Honestly, me, nobody even not, knows. I mean, granted... When you get to a certain point, it doesn't matter. You get, basically get to walk yeah. in front of any camera you like. But, yeah. it Tony, I'm sorry, and it's, it pains me. I know. But he left his gloves in the ring, and it was sadly Roman Reigns who uh, retired The Undertaker, and we are never, ever, 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 ever going to see The Undertaker in the ring as an active competitor ever again. I'm sorry. Well, I hope you're wrong in about 14 hours. Yes, we will see. And on that very, very happy, positive, uplifting note. Yeah, thanks for that, We are going to end this prediction discussion for Fast Lane 2018, I am the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man too sweet to be sour, your king of extreme, Phil KOE. And I'm Tony G, signing off, and we will see you tomorrow night for Fast Lane 2018.